My name is George and I am going to be 72 years old. We've been married for almost 43 years, come next month. I'm just enjoying my retirement. I had another procedure that I needed to be done in my lower back. While under anesthesia, I was being monitored with an EKG. It was just a regular procedure that he had had done several times and I was just going to pick him up and we were going to go home. Well, it turned out that once I got inside, the nurse told me that he needed to be rushed to emergency as soon as possible. It was a complete and total surprise to both of us. George presented for a back procedure and when he went in, atrial fibrillation was discovered. This is a disease that doesn't always present with palpitations, even though it's a heart rhythm problem. Its onset can be very insidious. Longstanding persistent atrial fibrillation is associated with a lot of long-term complications and potential long-term concerns like earlier onset dementia, heart failure, maybe even a shorter lifespan. He had been in atrial fibrillation for an unknown period of time, but likely it had been quite a long time. And those implications became paralyzing. That was very trying because how do you plan for the future? You know, what, how do you plan for where you want to be in the next two months, three months, six months, a year, when you have these issues going for you. I did not want to be on blood thinners in the future if I didn't have to. A lot of times we fix problems with medications and hopefully it eliminates the atrial fibrillation, but someone may feel just as bad with the medications as they did with the atrial fibrillation itself. Whereas I can offer a procedure in conjunction with the surgeon to actually make it possible to eliminate the disease without the need for any medications. I found out a lot of information about it, and apparently the hybrid ablation, as I read, it had the best chance to eliminate the atrial fibrillation. The hybrid AF procedure offers some significant advantages to the standard approach with catheter ablation. Imagine this is the inside of the heart here. My catheters are on the inside and pushing outwards and burning. And when I do that, I have some limitations because there's important structures on the outside of the heart that I don't want to damage. The hybrid procedure allows a surgeon to go in from the outside and push inwards and not worry about damaging those other structures and they can deliver the energy they need to get the job done and I can fill in those gaps from the inside of the heart. So that's why we call it hybrid and we sort of put those together in the symbiotic relationship where we get really great outcomes with really good safety. I remember it quite well. When I woke up out of anesthesia, I was in sinal rhythm immediately. Gee, it worked, you know, so felt very good about that. On the third day, I was released and I came home. By the second week, we were walking again. I felt great. I did not feel any sort of heart issues. I had no breathing problems, no dizziness, nothing. It was a resounding success. There's been no more atrial fibrillation. Uh, it's been as good of an outcome as you could possibly expect. We don't like to use the word cure, but at this point, it looks like the atrial fibrillation's gone and that's provided a lot of confidence uh, for George to just go ahead and live his life the way he wants. I would encourage anyone that's been diagnosed with atrial fibrillation to not wait. Even if you're not feeling symptoms, even if you don't have a bad day in your life, follow through. Our dog, Ronan, and I, we have our walking buddy back and that's a good feeling.